Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth, I am Sananda. Once again I am here to help you with my teachings. I wanted to come back here today because I placed many doubts and a feeling of guilt in the hearts of many. So I want to say the following, as I said yesterday, I didn't make a judgment, I just made an observation. So, today I'm going to talk about the path to the fifth dimension. What does it mean to walk the path to the fifth dimension? What to do, what to think, what to say, how to act, so that I become a human being ready for the fifth dimension? These are his questions every moment, every day. First of all, I'm not going to go into details here about what a dimension is, but you need to know that it's not a place, no one will leave the planet, to another planet Earth in the fifth dimension. Quickly, imagine the planet with several circles around it. It doesn't matter how big you leave between the circles, it's not relevant. But imagine that each circle you place around the planet is a vibrational frequency. The closer to the planet, the lower the frequency, the further away, the higher the frequency. This is not reality, I am demonstrating so that you understand, the difference between one dimension and another. So I would tell you that each interval between one circle and another is a dimension. So you have a range of values, a range with a minimum value and a maximum value, that are contained within that dimension. I'll repeat, that's not how it happens, this is just so you understand that these are vibratory bands. When we tell you that you can vibrate low and vibrate high, it all depends on what you think, what you say, what you eat, how you act, you are already tired of knowing this. So, you as human beings do not have a single frequency. Each of you is vibrating at a frequency within the third dimension, in a range, in a range of values, that are contained within this third dimension. So I can say that at certain moments of the day, when you meditate, when you surrender to the moment of meditation, when you put your mind fully involved in that meditation, you rise in frequency and leave the third dimension. You reach the fourth, you reach the fifth, even higher. And when there is contact with beings, with messages, it is not within the third dimension, it is a contact that takes place in higher dimensions. So, those of you who are preparing yourself, move between dimensions all the time depending a lot on what you think, say, etc. So, I would say that you can be with your family, all not awakened and vibrate in the fifth dimension, and being there with them, chatting happily at a very high frequency. Then I ask, are you somewhere else? No, they are not. You are still here on the planet, still in your homes or anywhere else with your family. But you are so happy. You are vibrating so high, that the frequency at that moment is a fifth dimensional frequency. And you, at that moment, may have episodes of encounters, of intuitions, with beings from the fifth dimension, while physically being in the third. So let it be clear to many that no one will physically change their location. So I'm going to make a parallel, you can vibrate from Tersera to much higher, in the same way Gaia also vibrates. So Gaia vibrates third, vibrates fourth, vibrates fifth, vibrates sixth and even much higher, depending on the point of the planet. Each point on the planet vibrates in a different range. Then you stop understanding altogether. So what I say to you is don't get attached to the geometric and mathematical concepts that you know. Nothing is as defined, as finite as you know it. So from all of this that I have already explained, you can draw the most correct conclusion, which is, each living being is on its own frequency. And the frequency vibrated by that being is contained in a vibration of third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. So when we say that the entire planet will begin to vibrate in the fifth dimension, it will be a moment in which all those points on the planet, the planet as a whole, will vibrate at fifth dimension frequencies, that all inhabitants of the planet will also vibrate fifth dimensional frequencies. Then no one will be taken from one place and taken to another. 
Understand this, the planet is ascending, as I said, some points are already vibrating the fifth dimension. And I can say that these points are expanding. So Gaia is doing her part, Gaia is transforming many points into points of higher frequency, in this way, those points can reach the fifth dimension. And that is where all the necessary changes will happen to make this happen. It is important that you realize and understand that when Gaia finishes this entire process, the entire planet will be in the fifth dimension. And where will you stay? So only those who vibrate the fifth dimension will remain on the surface of the planet. I hope this is clear enough in your mind. So it's not a place, it's a state of consciousness. And what is this state of consciousness? This state of consciousness is vibrating the fifth dimension. And what is vibrating in the fifth dimension? It is first of all to emanate unconditional love. This is the first point. Whoever vibrates the fifth dimension, does not judge, does not criticize, does not talk about the other, does not comment on the other, does not emanate feelings of low vibration in relation to the other, does not discriminate against the other, does not separate, does not put him aside, that is, just love unconditionally. This is unconditional love, because when you do not emanate any type of feeling against a brother, you automatically love him, even if you don't even know him. Because when you eliminate these feelings from your minds and hearts, you begin to emanate in the lane of love unconsciously. So there is unconditional love, in which any brother who appears in front of you, you will not vibrate anything negative against him. I can tell you that this is not easy, especially in the world you live in, in a world where violence, scarcity, evil, prevails all the time. However, we are doing a lot of work so that you, at least, do not vibrate any low frequency feelings against any brother, nor against anyone you know about, or who commits harm or suffering to you. This is the big test, this is the big challenge. So you keep asking us and you keep asking yourself, what can you do to vibrate high? Just follow these rules, nothing more. Of course, everything good you can do, all the positive feelings you emanate, raises your vibrations, a good diet raises your vibration, drinking plenty of water to clean yourself raises your vibration, for sure. But everything I said previously that was negative is what makes your vibration quickly drop. Positive feelings are powerful, yes they are. But for you to raise your vibrations, just in this way, it takes time, it takes a lot of consistency for them to effectively have any effect. Now vibrating negative feelings brings your vibration down quickly. So I'll give you an example, a positive feeling, to raise your vibration, has the speed of an old jalopy, walk, but walk slowly. Now when you vibrate negative, it's the speed of a race car, it goes down quickly. So if you, at least, stop feeding negative feelings, little by little your frequency will increase. This is how you rise, this is how you travel in other dimensions. So don't keep asking us, how to do it, what it takes, you're already tired of knowing. But they insist on wanting to get a small pill take it and quickly be in the fifth dimension. Unfortunately, my brothers, this does not exist. It's not a recipe that you add the correct ingredients to, drink or eat, and quickly become elevated. It's a process every minute, every second. So stop asking us or wondering, what do I need to do? This has already been widely said. Stop fooling yourselves. Change. You keep asking us, with the hope that we can say, look every day, you may have your share of stupid things to do. We will never say that. And you are aware that for a whole day, you made a lot of mistakes, and you keep trying to deceive yourself, that even so, you are evolving. So I say to each one of you, stop fooling yourselves. Because the moment Gaia completes her trajectory so that all points on the planet are in the fifth dimension, there will be no space for anyone who is not on the correct frequency. Understand this. 
Anyone who does not vibrate at that moment when Gaia fully elevates will not go to the fifth dimension. So stop fooling yourself. And another important thing, stop pushing for tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow I start, tomorrow I start to change. And I tell you that tomorrow is long overdue. You were supposed to start this change years ago. Now everything will have to be accelerated, because the higher you vibrate to the detriment of everything that will happen on the planet, the more easily you will go through the processes. And if you are vibrating low, I tell each one of you, it will be almost impossible for you to reach the fifth dimension. Because it will not be easy to bear being in the third dimension, not for those who want to go to the fifth, and who know everything they have to do. So, stop fooling yourselves, stop pushing into tomorrow what you should have started years ago. It has already been said here and I will repeat it too, you have a lot of tools that can elevate you, use, use, use. How many times? As many as possible. Everything that was taught, so that you can transmute feelings, elevate yourself, can be done as many times as you want. Now, spending the whole day making all the mistakes that take you to low dimension, low vibration and at night transmuting something, I would say to you, that you, as they say, are raining on the wet. They are achieving nothing, because everything is a set. You spend the day being the best examples of yourself and at night doing something that helps you transmute a lot of things, then yes, I would say that at the end of the day, you have gained a beautiful quantum of positive vibration. And they are walking at almost the speed of a racing car. That's it, my brothers, what you need to have on your conscience. Keeping asking every moment what I need to do is no longer appropriate. You are tired of hearing us say the same thing. And those who keep asking what needs to be done are because deep down they have this hope that we will say, look, you don't need to do anything else, everyone will go. Phew, what a relief, I can get on with my life. Forget it, because it won't happen. The time is now for all of you to change your vibrations, change your ways of living, change your ways of thinking. A fifth dimensional being has nothing to do with the being you are here, it is very different. And you want to go there without changing anything without changing yourself, thinking that just being good, not doing evil is enough? I would say that this doesn't help at all, because you may not do evil blatantly, but when you judge, you criticize, you blaspheme, you separate, this is a way of doing evil. So, you are not gaining anything. Make no mistake, there is no middle ground here, the elevation of your souls is either it is or it is not there is no middle ground. Because even the lowest interval of the fifth dimension, which will exist for ascension, will not absorb few changes. No one will be perfect, we know that, but they will have to go with a minimum. And I tell you, the vast majority of you are not even reaching this minimum, because you continue to deceive yourself, you continue to think that what you do leads to nothing, or that what you do does not harm anything. Keep thinking like this, because you really won't reach even the minimum necessary for the fifth dimension. So for those who felt guilty yesterday about what I said, that wasn't my intention, on the contrary, I wanted to show you that exactly following two paths doesn't work. It's as if you arrived at a crossroads and there was a path to the left and a path to the right. Will you split in half to follow the path? Do not go. You will have to choose one. This is it, it is in this sense that everything was said yesterday. I didn't want to create guilt in anyone, I just showed that you can't follow two paths, either you go left or right. You can't follow both at the same time. And this is also a way of elevating yourself. Your choice will or will not contribute to your elevation. So stop fooling yourselves, correct yourselves. Change your frequencies change your vibrations. Love unconditionally and only then will you have a chance to reach that minimum necessary for the fifth dimension. Do the impossible, because you are not doing the possible. Analyze your actions, analyze your thoughts, 
analyze your words, analyze your feelings, every second. And you will see, for those who do a deep analysis, that you are going backwards and not forwards.